Good morning guys, I am Nidhi Bagalwadi, your science teacher, Sankalp Learning Solutions. In the last class, we learned regarding the spherical mirrors. We also learned regarding certain terminologies related to spherical mirrors. Today, we are going to discuss how the image will be formed in the spherical mirrors. So, in the last class, we learned three cases where a parallel beam of light is focused on a spherical mirror when a ray of light passes through a center of curvature, when a ray of light passes through a principal focus. So, in these all cases, we learned where the image will be formed. So, today we are going to discuss in detail regarding the image formation in the convex mirror when an object is placed at an infinity level. At infinity. So, what do you mean by infinity? Infinity means no yet. Okay. So, here in this concept, in this concept, infinity refers to the far distance. The object is placed at the far distance. Okay. So, at the far distance means how much? Let us consider the focal length. What do you mean by focal length? The distance between the principal focus and the pole, uh, pole of a spherical mirror is called as focal length. So, let us consider a focal length as 20 centimeter and when an object is placed in such a way that at infinity means it should not be 2 meter, 2 kilometer. No, the object is placed at infinity that is at far distance which should be related to the focal length. So, approximately we can take it as 60 centimeter or 80 centimeter. So, here infinity means it is not so far, it should be quite related to the focal length of a spherical mirror. So, before drawing the ray diagram of the convex mirror, image formation by the convex mirror, we should know the position of the object from the pole. That is mandatory. We should know the position of the object and we should know the radius of curvature of a spherical mirror. Right. Next. Now, let us take... Okay, let me brush up the things in the last class. So, let us take a concave mirror. When a parallel beam of light is focused, okay, is focused on a spherical surface of a concave mirror, the image will be formed on the principal focus. This is one. And when the ray of light passes through the center of curvature, Okay, the, there will be no angle of incidence and there will be no angle of refla reflection. Okay, why? Because it is incident normally and it should be, it is perpendicular to the surface. That is why angle of incidence and angle of reflection will be zero. The reflected ray will be in the same path of the incident ray. This is the case we learnt in the last class. So, let us consider... Image formation by the convex mirror here, I considered an object OJ, the object name is OJ. O is a top of the object that is a head of the object, J is the bottom of the object. So, let us consider a parallel beam of light is focused or incident on a spherical surface by an object OJ on the spherical surface of a convex mirror and the reflected ray this you will get. So, when you extend the reflected ray, it appears to come from a point. So, that point is nothing but a principal focus. See here. It will come from a point called as principal focus. It appears to come from the principal focus. Now, this is one ray and the second ray we will uh, take in such a way that that ray is appearing to passes or directed towards the center of curvature. That ray is directed towards a center of curvature. Means the reflected ray will be in the same path. In the same path. Okay. So, we consider two diverging rays. We consider two diverging rays from the object. One ray is parallel to the principal axis. Other ray is passing through the center of curvature. So, when you extend these rays, you, it will appear that one will come from the principal focus, the other is coming from the center of curvature. And here you can see both these imaginary lines will meet at certain point, will intersect at certain point. So, that is the place where the image is formed. So, let us take the image as IJ. 
that is the place where the image is formed i j okay this is how the image is formed by the convex mirror so when we go to the nature of the image by the convex mirror it will be diminished diminished means not so clear diminished okay light virtual means this image you cannot obtain on a screen that is a virtual erect erect means what if oj it is head and this is a tail or a bottom part so the image will be also the straight this is head this is the bottom it is not inverted it is erect upright lateral inversion so this we learn through the plane mirror also the image will be laterally inverted right means left left means right that is a lateral inversion so this is the nature of the image through the convex mirror so when we change the position of an object at the infinity level at the infinity level at the far distance when we change the position of the object let me take the object nearer to the spherical mirror let me take the object far from the spherical mirror so it will not affect the characteristics characteristics means these all diminished virtual erect and lateral inversion these nature this nature of a image will not change if you change the position of an object then what will change only the size so when you make an object to come closer to the spherical mirror the size increases okay and the distance between the object and the image from the spherical mirror will not be always equal it will differ so if you decrease the distance between the object and the spherical mirror the distance between the image and the spherical mirror also decreases but the size increases but it will not affect the nature of the image formed by the convex mirror so this is regarding the image formation at the infinity level through the convex mirror so we consider two diverging rays one ray will be parallelly incident on the spherical mirror other ray will be passing appears to direct it towards the center of curvature right so both the rays will meet at a point appear to meet at a point that point where the image will be formed that is ij so this is the nature of the image diminished virtual erect and lateral inversion and the position of the image will not change that is uh, the position of an object may change but it will not affect anything on the nature of the image right this is regarding the image formation through the convex mirror in the upcoming session we are going to learn the image formation by the concave mirror how the image will be formed what will be the nature so you can differentiate between the image formation by the plane mirror as well as by the spherical or a convex mirror right so in the next class we will meet to learn image formation by the concave mirror until that have a nice day